8,000 miles away, Nugget was found limping down a road on a rainy night in South Carolina. The woman who found him took him to a veterinary clinic to see if he'd been chipped. That's when his owner, Jesse Springer, got the text that she'd long been waiting for. When Jen texted me, like, I was like, wait, what? Like, I mean, this dog never left my side, so I thought he had, like, walked off to die because he was already old. Jesse says that Nugget ran away seven years ago. How he got to the other side of the country, it's right. a mystery. And where's he been? What has he been doing? Yeah, I want to know. Huh. Look at Nugget there. Aww. So they're now back together, as you can see. That's He's been gone from home like half his yeah. life. Yeah. Well, he's back home now. That's a sweet story. I'm always curious, though, like, what did they what do? Happened? What did they have to encounter? What did they have to survive, you know? Yeah, and, and he obviously remembered her, so that's very sweet. Yeah. All right, it's almost 5 a.m. Here's what's happening today in L.A. Well, there has been another school shooting. Three people killed on the campus of Michigan State. Five, five other people have been hurt. And what is really unusual about this one, the gunman apparently had no ties to the university. We're live with the unfolding investigation. And a controversial crackdown, Culver City decides to take away tents from the homeless, but advocates are not having it. We are live as both sides react to the ban. And mild no more. Our winter weather is making a comeback with freezing temperatures and strong winds. I'm tracking the watches and warnings in your first alert forecast. Today in LA at 5 starts now. Good morning to you. Happy Valentine's Day. It is February 14th. I'm Lynette Romero. And I'm Adrian Orambulo. And welcome in, Robin. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you. Happy Day Valentine's Day. Got here safely. Was it still drizzling out there? It was drizzling for us when we came in this I morning. had a good ride. Good? Yeah, I caught a ride from New Star before Alpha. They, just <laughs> they scooped you up. <laughs> Drop me off right in the parking nice. lot. Like just can I? Wouldn't that be great? I want to Robin. Take the chopper to work today, right? Take right? the chopper. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we roll. Yeah. Oh, fly. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we're glad you're here. <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, hey, it's uh, Valentine's Day. Yes. It's Taco Tuesday. Ooh. We're landing on the same day. And uh, you know what? I'm calling today cuddle weather because we do have a storm moving through. And it's going to cause all kinds of, you know, issues when it comes to our weather. Right now, we have some light rain falling through the San Gabriel Valley and over into Orange County. So the ride this morning could be a little drizzly. You're going to need those windshield wipers. Don't be in a rush and leave with plenty of time. We also have snow falling in the mountains. Now, here is the major impact. It's going to be the winds. The winds are active right now in the deserts. That's where we have a high wind warning. Same goes for the mountains. The winds are going to stay up there for the first half of the day, but during the afternoon, the winds are going to move into the San uh, Fernando Valley and along the coast. So those winds are coming. The temperatures right now are in the 50s and in the 40s, and it's going to be a chilly day where you need the coats, you need the layers. Right now over Universal City, we could see all that cloud cover. Here's your forecast for this Tuesday. 58 at the coast with a chance for some light rain and some gusty afternoon winds. Same goes for the basin and for the valleys. Now in the Inland Empire, we have winds increasing this afternoon, 57 with light rain. In the deserts, some snow expected tonight, but other than that, it's going to be a windy day, 47 for you. And in the mountains, that's Snow is falling right now. We have a winter storm warning in effect. It's going to be windy and cold. 34 degrees will be your high. I'll be back to break down all of the details, but right now, let's get you to your, your drive. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. Good morning. We're off to our traffic alert that we've been monitoring for hours. It started last night and it has spilled over into your morning drive in Pacoima, northbound 5 at San Fernando Mission. The truck bypass lane closed at least until 630. Avenue. It's stuck in the left lane, causing a little bit of a backup, maybe a half mile or so. So keep that in mind as you roll north. Your drive time on the rise, but not bad. It's still under 30 minutes from the 605 through the scene and up to the 10. The 215 already picking up 19 minutes and growing from the 74 to the 91. The 91 West already getting busy, but no major issues. And the 60 leaving Riverside 24 minutes here from the 215 off to the 57. We'll check more drive times and freeways coming up in a little bit. Adrian, back to you.
All right, Robin, thank you. 502 right now developing right now. Detectives are looking for answers as to why a man opened fire on the campus of Michigan State University late last night. Three people were killed. Five other people were sent to hospitals with critical injuries. I'm going to take you live right now to East Lansing where officials